Hello, this is a tutorial on the uh, Unit 1 Final Assessment, number 3. Just going to go through step-by-step step how you show your work steps to arrive at the correct answers. Uh, all right, we have to go inside the brackets here, and inside the brackets we start all over with PEMDAS, and we have some exponents. So really what this is, this is really this, minus 3, um, and it's cubed like this. Uh, it's it's inside, sorry, let me slide that down. It's inside the bracket. So we could just do 3 to the third is 27. It's 3 times 3 times 3. That's 27, and it's negative. It would be actually the same if it was outside the bracket because then it would just be a negative 3 times a negative 3 times a negative 3. I'm just making sure you understand the difference there because on the final assessment that you take, you retake, it probably uh, it could be an even numbered exponent so that it does make a difference so this is a negative 4 we have 81 divided by a negative 27 and then it's plus 4 now we can divide this in between so we have a negative 4 81 divided by 7 is 3 it's a positive divided by a negative so it's a negative 3 plus 4. So this is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. It's a positive 12 because it's got negative times a negative plus 4. It gives us 16 as our final answer. Okay, absolute value here. Well, this is kind of tricky out front here. That's like a negative 1 times that stuff. So, well, first of all, we have to go inside the brackets. And inside the brackets, we have 16 divided by 4. Oh, I'm sorry, the bars, but we treat them just like brackets. So this is still a negative 5. Now we have to do this first. 16 divided by 4 is a negative 4. So it's going to be a negative 5 plus a negative 4. So now that really, uh, we just are left with that. So we still have this negative 1 outside here. And inside those brackets, that's really a negative 9. Now when we take the brackets off, that becomes a positive 9, but it's still times a negative 1 which is going to give us a negative 9. Yep, you got to go step by step through that. A lot of kids get to this point right here and they say, oh, that's two negatives, that's a positive. Nope, because it's got to come out of the absolute value bars as a positive number first. All right, this one here, just a little uh, 1.6 AB, a little simple um, substitution problem so we're going to put m in for that so it's a negative 5 always substitute those values in in parentheses plus 4 well this is 5 times 3 which is 15 and it's a positive 15 because it's two negatives plus 4 this one looks like 19 okay the next one's going to be a little single step equation so it's kind of written out weird, but this is really a double shot here. So we have m6 equals m plus 12. Well, to get rid of plus 12, we have to subtract 12 from both sides. Plus 12 minus 12, that crosses out. You have 6 and a negative 12. Well, these are different signs. The difference between 6 and 12 is 6, and it's negative because this guy here has a greater absolute value, equals m. So our answer here is just negative 6 or if you want, right, it's just it, m equals a negative 6. That's fine, too. Uh, this one's kind of tough. Uh, another single-step equation here, but this time we are dealing with um, a division equation. So the way you get rid of division is to multiply. So this is n divided by 4, so to get rid of the divided by 4, we're going to multiply both sides by 4. If I, Think about that as 4 over 1 if you want. But the 4 is cross off, you're left with n equals, and this is 64, and it's a negative 64 because it's a negative times a positive. So that is a negative 64. Okay, when we're comparing these numbers here, uh, just grab our calculator here. I think I dropped mine. I've got to go digging. Hey, but guess what? I found my better pen. That's a bonus. So do 9 16 9 divided by 16. That's 0 0.625. 
put it over here so you can see it. So this is going to be a negative 0.5625. I think I said that wrong before. And this is a negative 0.562. Ooh, tricky question, duds. Okay, which one of these is greater? Well, negative, five, negative 56. That's like a negative 56 cents. And then we've got another 2 here and then a 5 here. This one's actually bigger because it's closer to 0. It's less negative. It's this little 5 right here, which is really only 5 ten thousandths. Um, but it's, uh, it makes it a little bit more negative than negative 0.562. All right, what's the key? Turn them into decimals. Good, very good. There's our symbol. Uh, here we have to add and uh, subtract these positive and negative fractions. Well, what, what are we really doing here? Well, these are the same signs. They're both negative, so we're really just going to add these up. So let's make these, give them a common denominator. And uh, I guess we have to go with 63. So we would have to take this 9 times 7 to get to 63. So we do the same on the top. So that's, uh, and if it helps, you can write them out like this. You'd have to take this times 7 and this times 7. So this would be a negative 28 60 thirds. And this one here, we would have to take that times, just right over here, 4 sevenths. We have to take this times 9 to get to 63. So we're going to take this times 9 as well. So that's 36. Make it plus and negative so they're, it's a little bit easier to see. So now we just got to add these up. So 28 and 36. These are non-calculator targets. That's 14. Looks like 64. So this looks like it's 64 60 thirds. It's negative, right? We can rename that as a negative 1 and 1 60 third. Negative 1 and 1 60 third as a mixed number. Okie dokie. So we're to page two. Okay, now we have to do the same thing with uh, positive and negative mixed numbers. So let's see, I'm going to write these out this way because it's easier for me to see. Okay, so uh, in this case here, we're going to use 12 as a common denominator, so I'm going to go to a common denominator first. So I'd have to do this times 4 and this times 4, right? So it's a negative 5, and I have 4 12s. We're adding 3 and 5 12s. All right, so what I want to do is see if I can subtract these. These are different signs, so I'm finding the difference here. So I'm going to see if I can cheat. I'll grab my other pen here. Is that a different color? I can't tell. I'm going to see if I can cheat. I can do 5 minus 3, which is 2, but I can't do 4 minus 5. It doesn't work. No cheating allowed. So I can either make these both into improper fractions, or I can do a trade. I think I'll do the I'll do improper fractions. 5 times 12 is 60 plus 4. I could rename this as a negative 64 12s, and 3 times 4. 12 is 36, plus 5 is 41 twelves. Now I can, I can subtract. 64 minus 41 is 23 twelves. It's going to be negative. And we could, uh, 23 divided by 12, that's really a negative 1. And there would be 11 left over. Okay, let's just do it with a trade, just for kicks. The trade, we would take this 5 and 4 12s. That's negative. And this would be 3 and 5 12s. We just take one of these, and we'd call this 4, and we'd add 12 on up here and make that 16. So instead of 5 and 4 12s, I move 12 to the top and call it 4 and 16 12s. So now I can do 4 minus 3, 
which is 1. I can do 16 minus 5, which is 11 twelfths, and it's negative. So you get the same answer both ways. But All right, so I'm going to put that answer up in here, negative 1 and 11 twelfths. Okay, this one here, boo, hit me with a double shot. Wow. Okay, this is really uh, a different signs thing here because that's a double shot. So different signs find the difference. So this is the bigger number, so I'm going to line them up. 1.23. Let's put a zero there. Now, as for finding the difference, we have to subtract. So we're just going to kind of ignore that negative symbol up there. 7 minus 0 is 7. 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. We have a decimal. We have 4 minus 1, which is 3. So the question is, is it positive or negative? Well, it's negative, of course, because this is a greater absolute value. So here's my answer. Negative 3.33. Seven. All right. Isolate the variable and solve this two step or this 2.7a. So we had two steps here. First of all, we're going to get rid of this negative 8 or this 8 by subtracting from both sides. So now we've got 8 minus or 64 minus 8 that gives us 56 equals 4n, and that 4n is negative. So we want to continue to isolate the variable and put our railroad tracks in here. So I'm going to divide by 4. Now if I divide by 4, I'm going to have a negative n. So I'm going to divide by negative 4 here on both sides. My 4's cross off, I'm left with a positive n. And then uh, 56 divided by 4 is 14. It's a positive divided by a negative, so it's a negative 14. So this answer here is a negative 14, or if you wanted to write, you could write n equals a negative 14. Either way, the computer will take. Okay, and now we've got to combine some light turns and do some distributing. So let's just do 2 times n, that's a negative 2n. Two, 2 times 5 is 10. It's a negative times a negative, so that's a positive 10. 3 times 2 is 6. It's a positive times a positive, so that's a positive. 3 times 2, that's going to be 6n. And it's going to be negative because it's a positive times a negative, and then we have this plus 10. So let's just uh, let's see here. Let's add up our, we have a plus 10. We have a plus 6. We have a plus 10. So it looks like that's 10 plus 10 plus 10. So we have a plus 26, and then we've got a negative 2 and a negative 6. Well, those are the same signs too, so this is a minus 8n plus 26. So minus 8n plus 26. You could also write that as 26 minus 8n. It's the same thing. This is negative and this is positive in both cases. All right, last one. Combine and solve this two-stepper. Uh, well, uh, let's combine our like terms here. That's a negative 10n. Negative 10n. Combine these guys. These are different signs, so we're going to find the difference there. It's 8 and it's a negative 8. equals 212. All right, so now I've got a standard two-step equation. Get my railroad tracks. I'm going to have to go through them here a little bit. Um, so we've got to get rid of this negative 8 first. We'll add 8 to both sides. These cross off. You have a minus 10n equals, well, that's 220 when you add that in. And we're going to divide by a negative 10 on both sides. You got uh, a positive n left, and this is going to equal 22. 220 divided by 10 is 22. It's a positive divided by a negative, so it's a negative 22. So you can put a negative 22, or n equals a negative 22. All right, number 13 and 14. If you're retaking this portion of the test, oh, man, it's so simple. Uh, number 13. You can ignore this. This is if I'm grading it by hand. Um, 
What do you need to know to multiply or divide positive and negative numbers? When multiplying or dividing, if you have an odd number of negative symbols, your answer is going to be negative. If you have an even number of negative symbols, your answer is going to be positive. Let me say it like a mathematic guy would say. When multiplying or dividing, if you have an odd number of negative symbols, your product or quotient will be negative. If you have an even number of negative symbols, your product or quotient will be positive. What are the rules for uh, number 14? What are the rules for adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers? This is the, the part nobody does here is put down examples. We call it the double shot, but nobody else in the world knows what the double shot is. It's just some stupid I made up. So put an example. 2 minus a minus 3 is equal to 2 plus 3. Okay? Number 2, same signs. Same signs. A negative 2 plus a negative 3 equals a negative 5. I should put down what these equal as well. And then 3, different signs. Different signs, find the difference. Different signs, find the difference. And that's going to be uh, an example of that would be negative uh, 8 plus 10. The difference is 2, and it's positive because this has a greater absolute value. Another way of saying it is the 10 is more positive than the 8 is negative. So you could just say different signs find the difference. Keep the sign of the value that has the greatest absolute value or the number with the greatest absolute value. Or you could do a little example. All right, good luck. Thanks.